Let's look at example 1-5. We are told that at the branch, Y branch, enter water at 15 liters per second and it divides into two streams. Stream 2 and stream 3. If the velocities we are told at both branches 2 and 3 are the same, so let's call the velocity at 2 P2 and the velocity at 3 P3 Both of them are the same uh, as indicated here. And you're told that the pipe diameter, the details, 50 millimeter on entrance and diameter 2 is 20 millimeter and diameter 3 is 30 millimeter. So let's proceed with the three calculations. We first are required to calculate the velocity V1. So we make use of this important relationship between velocity in the pipe and the volumetric flow rate. So the volumetric flow rate in this case, which we will write here to remind ourselves, is Q. The volumetric flow rate is equal to the area of flow multiplied by the velocity of flow. So we are going to make use of this for part one. So if you look at part 1 now, Q1 is equal to A1 times V1. We know Q, the volumetric flow rate, is 0 0.015 liters per second. So we have to change it to cubic meters per second. is equal to the area at the point 1, which is pi 50 millimeters is 0 0.05 squared over 4 multiplied by our unknown V1. If we bring all the known figures to one side and we evaluate, you will get V1 is equal to 7.69 meters per second. Now let's look at part 2. At When we look at part 2, we are required to calculate the velocity at 2 or the velocity at 3. Remember, both of them are the same. So we make use of the continuity equation. Okay, let's give it a different color. That Q1 is equal to Q2 plus Q3. We already know what is Q1. We know the details of the area of Q2 and the area of Q3. So let's proceed. We will write what we know. 0 0.015 is equal to Q2 is if you recall, the pipe diameter at 2 is 20 millimeters. So at 3, it is 30 millimeters. So 
the area A2, V2, plus A3, I'm not going to write V3, I'm going to write V2, because we are told that V3 is equal to V2. So, pi over 4 times 0 0.02 squared plus 0 0.03 squared. I factorized the pi over 4 multiplied by V2. So this gives us V2 as equal to 14.7 meters per second. Now let's proceed with part 3. Now in part 3, we are required to calculate the flow rate Q2 and Q3. Now, if we write Q2, let's see what we know. Q2 is equal to A2 V2. Now, we have already calculated V2. We know A2. So, Q2 is A2, which is pi times 0 0.2. 0, 0.02 squared over 4 times our 14.7 meters per second. I need not write that down. Let's uh, knock that one out. It will be confusing. And this gives us an answer of 4.62 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 3 meter cube per second, which amounts to 4.62 liters per second. Now, Q3, we need not go through the calculation. I could easily use Q3 is equal to A3 times V3, but it is not necessary. We have an easier way to do it. What we will say is Q3 is in fact Q1 minus Q2, which is 15 minus 4.62, which gives us 10 point. 3.8 litres per second.